and fake a facelift. Dr. Lee Rogers and Dr. Shirley Mateer say the big secret is in this little pill. These are called phytoceramides. So, Dr. Rogers, what are these phytoceramides? Well, ceramides, which is something that naturally occurs in our skin, is something also that we something also we lose as we age, like most things, unfortunately. And because of that, we, the barrier of our skin breaks down some. We don't retain as much water. We don't have that sort of plumpness, that youthfulness in our skin. Uh, there, it's been around, actually, for quite some time. Ceramides have been in topical solutions for many years. And uh, the oral forms have been available in, uh, in Asia, Japan, for quite a number of years. Just recently, the FDA has approved uh, phytoceramides. Now, phyto means from plant, so it's a plant derivative. This will put it back into our skin, and it can reverse some of those signs of aging. Dr. Madeira, how do you use this? Basically, you take them as an oral supplement, as a pill. And the way that phytoceramides work, they help to restore the protective skin barrier that we lose as we age, unfortunately. And so they help to hydrate the skin from the inside out. Maybe if I can bring that alive with an animation. This is why this matters to all of us. When, again, it's, I'm sort of surprised we haven't been using this earlier, but when our skin looks older and it's dried out and it's flaky, which is the reason it tends to look rough and wrinkled, what we want to do is supplement it. So these phytoceramides come in through our blood. We take them as a pill in our mouth. They slowly percolate up through the skin, through the younger skin, up to the older skin from the inside out. When they get to the outside, they bind the skin together, so they make it plumper. The water doesn't escape as much. You get less cracking. The barrier works better, and the wrinkles go away. Those they fill out a little bit, and the dryness also is less obvious. So the damaged areas look more youthful. Once again, the skin is able to hold on to its moisture better because the phytoceramides are sticking the skin cells together the way they were supposed to from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Rogers, roughly how long should people be taking these ceramides by, by orally as a supplement before they'll see results? Uh, minimally, it'll take about four, four weeks or so before you start seeing some smoothing of the skin. And the reason it takes that long is because that's how long it takes for new skin to grow old. And well, yeah, I mean, I mean, not only that, I mean, he has to get into the cells, and then there's a process. So it's not, it's not, there's no magic pill, unfortunately, even though this is pretty close. But it, uh, the, this, your body has to actually start producing new collagen, the, the damage has to be repaired. So, yes, it takes a little time for that to occur. Still better than a surgeon's scapula, I, I think. Yeah. And that, <laughs> did you agree or not? Yes. <laughs> and Dr. Mitter, when should people take it? How much do they take? So the recommended dose is 350 milligrams per day. So that's one pill per day. And the cost is approximately $10 for a 30-day supply. And it's important that when you're looking, going to the store and looking for these ceramides, it's important to look for the plant-derived ceramides. Plant-derived ceramides. Plant-derived, mm -hmm. yes. Right. And Dr. Rogers, is, is there so, anybody who should not be taking these phytoceramides? Well, phytoceramides are pretty safe for most people. The only people who may have to be a little bit careful are people who have gluten sensitivity or wheat allergy. Because these are derived from either wheat rice or sweet potato sources. So of course if you have that allergy, you look for ones that are produced directly from rice or sweet potato and you should be fine. And then my dear, yeah. uh, if you can, educate me a little bit about the risks of taking these. Can you combine them with other supplements? What are the potential benefits of doing that? Actually, the FDA just recently approved the phytoceramides, so they generally appear to be safe for most people. And the phytoceramides work very well with vitamin C. So actually, Topical vitamin C works well in combination with oral ceramides because oral ceramides have a better saturation. So it's great to combine topical vitamin C with oral ceramides. So both the things we've talked about today are, are combinations that you probably use frequently in your practices. Oh, yeah, I recommend it, definitely. Absolutely. I love when it's simple and easy, and it's affordable, mm -hmm. too. Very. Right. Mm -hmm. Coming up, the plastic surgeons are revealing the secret at-home device that can make you look younger. Find out what it is when we come back.